Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage the reordering rule in Odoo 17 inventory module. So reordering rule is a process of setting a rule for the product to manage an optimal stock in the warehouse. So reordering rule can be managed in two ways in Odoo 17. Like you can set a manual reordering rule or an automatic reordering rule. In this video, we will be discussing about how to set a manual reordering rule. To manage with a manual reordering rule, ensure that you have set a vendor for the product. You can also set the multiple vendors for a product, but by default, Odoo will consider the vendor in the top of the vendor line. So if you want to just uh, change your vendor, you can also change the vendors for managing the manual reordering rule. In the manual reordering rule, it ensures that you have set a minimum quantity, maximum quantity um, in the order. So whenever the product falls below the minimum quantity, you can manually trigger a purchase order. So let's see how can we manage the reordering rule in Odoo 17 inventory module. Here we are going to manage the manual reordering rule for the product Drobo Black. And to manage with the manual reordering rule, we can also assign the vendors. To manage with the vendors, you can just move on to the purchase tab where you can find the vendors, which is Demni Furniture and Anita Oliver with their prices and delivery lead time respectively. By default, Odo consider Gemini Furniture as a vendor. This is because Gemini Furniture is in the first line of the vendor list. To manage with the reordering rule, let's move on to more button where you can find, we can set the reordering rule. So here you can find that the on-hand quantity of drawer black is set to zero, which means we don't have any quantity in our warehouse. Now you can see that the forecasted quantity is set to minus one. This is because we have just received an order for the product drawer black for one quantity as we don't have sufficient quantity in our warehouse or in the stock to deliver the item to the customer. That order will be pending and the forecast will be set to negative which is shown over here. Now we need to set a rule in order to manage with the manual reordering rule. So here we must have at least five quantity of drawer black in our stock. So whenever the quantity falls below five, we need to generate the reordering rule in order to replenish the item in the stock. In order to avoid the overstocking, we can also set a maximum quantity. So here we can see that the maximum quantity that to be placed in our stock is 50. So there's a number of our stock, the item in the warehouse. And here you can also find the two order and two order is set to 51. And by using the equation, two order will be calculated maximum quantity minus forecasted quantity. Here the maximum quantity is 50 minus forecasted quantity is minus one, which would give a result of 51. Now, as we want to perform the manual reordering rule, we can just trigger uh, the rule over here. So as you just enable trigger, you can see that we have uh, two types of triggering, which is auto as well as manual. So if you want to just perform the manual triggering rule uh, or manual reordering rule, you can set the trigger as manual. Now we also need to consider the multiple quantity. So multiple quantities are used in a case where some suppliers only provide the um, yeah, items um, in quantities uh, of multiple. So in such cases, we use multiple quantity. So let me set the multiple quantity as uh, three. So here you would be able to find that uh, the quantity that we need to generate is 51 itself. So what happens if we change our quantity to six and all here you can see that uh, the uh, suppliers would be only providing the drawer black in a multiple of six so in such cases we will consider the uh, two order as 54 this is because when you just consider six ones are that will be equal to six and that will not meet the minimum which means maximum quantity to order and six twos are 12 six threes are uh, 18, 6 fours are 24, 6 fives are 30, 6 six are 36, 6 sevens are 42, and 6 eights are 48. And we cannot just order the item um, because that do not meet the maximum quantity. But when you just consider 
six nines are that would give 54 and uh, which meet the maximum quantity to order and we would consider 54 as a quantity as we are performing the manual reordering rule you can just click on order once and when you just click on order once you would be able to find that the following purchase order has been generated and now let's review the purchase order so let's move on uh, to the purchase order so for that you can just move on to the purchase module where you would be able to find that uh, we have just generated um, the yeah purchase order with the default for uh, default vendor as a chimney furniture with 54 quantity now let's confirm the order and let's place the item in the stock so for that you can just click on validate and we have just set 54 quantity in our stock now let's move on to the uh, inventory module itself and let's consider all the replenishment order so if you want to just um, review all the replenishment order or all the reordering uh, rules you can just move on to the operation tab and choose uh, replenishment over here and you would be able to find uh, the reordering rule that has generated so when you just remove to order you would be also able to find the rules that are generated and you can find uh, the product over here which is monitor stand and let me consider monitor stand and let's assign the vendor for this product so here you can see i'm going to assign different vendors such as abigail peterson as well as uh, i need a uh, bait events as my vendor and let me consider the cost of the product as three and um, here uh, abigail peterson will be providing uh, the product with uh, 2.88 and bait events would like to provide the product with two dollar and here you can see that uh, bait as a uh, customer just order the item customer would be receiving the item on the that day itself like the delivery lead time will be zero like uh so or uh, uh, when uh, we try to purchase the item uh, we would get the item on the same day itself so we can just set the delivery lead time as zero so um here you can see this product has got multiple vendors and the on hand quantity is minus two and here you can just go to the replenishment and let's set the rules over here here we can see that the on hand quantity is minus two and the forecasted quantity is also minus two now let's set a rule to replenish the item so let me set five as the uh, minimum quantity that to be in our stock and let's set a maximum quantity to be uh yeah 30 and um, here you can see that the two order will be set to uh, 32 this is because we know uh, to order is calculated uh, maximum quantity minus forecasted quantity the maximum quantity is 30 minus minus 2 would give a result of 32 that to be order and place uh, in our warehouse now um, here when you just click on the i button if you want to just set a particular vendor you can set that and uh, by default um, Odo will consider we know Abigail Peterson as the default vendor because Abigail Peterson is in the first line of the vendor list but I would like to set Bath events as my vendor so if I need to purchase the item from Bath events I can just set Bath events as my supplier so let me set that and uh, let me consider uh, this order and let's order to the maximum so let's click on order to maximum and you can see that the uh, following replenishment order has been generated now you can just review the purchase order over there and let's move on to the purchase module and as we have set bait events as the vendor you can see that we have just generated um the oh uh, yeah purchase order with the vendor bait events with a quantity of 32 and we can just confirm it and place the item in our stock so for that you can just click on validate so if you want to just uh, know the on hand quantity of the product you would be able to find that the on hand quantity will be set to 30 this is because we had a uh, minus 2 quantity in our on hand so we have just closed the uh, or we have just reserved uh, that quantity into the painting sale order so that's how we calculate the on hand quantity so 
that's all about setting of manual reordering rule in Odo 70 inventory module. So reordering rule never let your inventory to be empty state. So I hope this concept clarifies how to set a manual reordering rule in Odo 17 inventory module. And if you require any Odo customization or specific videos regarding Odo, feel free to contact Cybrosis. And thank you for watching the video.